All right, Chris, we're away. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me, Sam. Just so many questions. Yeah. What do you want to ask me? Does anyone call you a rangapang? It's one. It's one of the few <laughs> names I've never been called. Um, just a warning, by the way. This this is a hard hitting interview. This is not this is not just a Dorothy Dixon type stuff. This no, I is understand like, that. You've seen Open Mic. Yes. It's going to be a bit like Open Mic. Probably not as funny. Yeah. Right? I'm just warning you. Yep. I was looking at old player profiles. Yeah. And also because I've spoken to a lot of older players, former players, and they're the player profiles that they used to used to um, have to fill out in the 80s. Yeah. You know, do you drink? Uh, don't answer that. Uh, do you smoke? Oh, I will ask you this one. <laughs> do you smoke? No. No, no I don't Not even smoke. socially? No. <laughs> All right, then. Actually, speaking of the old player profiles, favourite movie? Uh, probably Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> It's a good movie. It is undoubtedly is a good movie. It is also the stock standard <laughs> answer for a current day AFL. Well, that's, I, mean, I haven't been to many movies since Shawshank Redemption came out. It's a goodie though. It is a goodie. What about when Brooks died? Oh, tragic. No use not saying it just because everyone else is saying it. You know? Okay. Is that right. fair? Yeah. It's like a good fair. holiday spot. You know, one's everyone. Yeah. What is your favourite holiday spot? Service? We like Noosa. <laughs> but everyone everyone likes Noosa. But if that's what you like, that's what you like. The reason everyone likes it is because it's a good spot to go on holidays. That's a good point. All right, all right, all right. I'm so sorry. Is, is it Noosa for you? Favourite holiday spot? Noosa. Yeah, put them on the list. Favourite holiday spot, Noosa. This is like the definitive player profile from the 80s. All right, what about favourite ever TV show? Probably favourite ever would probably be, uh, probably be The Sopranos. I love watching that. Did you binge watch that? Yes. Yeah. Big time binge. I've, I've watched The Sopranos, I reckon, three or four times in totality over the years. Um, and usually in a binging type fashion. Character you're most identified with? I think Moltisanti. Yeah. <laughs> why, why did you identify? What was, the, what was it about Christopher that, that you most identified with? <laughs> the psychopathic tendencies? <laughs> The insecurity, what was it? Yeah, I don't know what it is. I just, uh... You liked him. I like Malta Santi, yeah. What about when he went into movie producing? That was a weird plot twist, don't you think? Look, they all had their... They all had their, um... Their faults, didn't they? It's going well so far. You happy with this? <laughs> what about this one to prolong your career? Yeah. You don't have to pick up your man. Someone else has to. Okay, I like that idea. You it's like good. Yep, yep. That would be nice, don't you think? <laughs> What's going on over there? <laughs> if you crash this car, we, there will be, there probably will be a mild story. Okay. <laughs> just, yeah. I'm just that would definitely make the cut. You crashing the car is a great way to, it'd be like the final thing of The Sopranos. The whole thing will go, yeah. and, then, <laughs> yeah. and then we'll just go It's a mystery that. what actually happened. <laughs> um, he definitely died at the end there, didn't he? Definitely. You haven't got another theory on that. There are a lot of theories. Well, I'm asking you, Sam. Well, Chris. It's a couple of episodes before, yeah. him, he's talking about what happens when you get shot. And the quote is, nothing, it just goes quiet. And I think you'll find that's what ah, happens, Sam. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah, all right, well, look. I, for someone who's watched the series, you know, 11 times, like you, I probably, you are, you, you are a true fan. I, I should probably take that under. Have you got another, the, have you got a better alternate theory? I don't even think David Chase has a better theory, by the way. You know, he refuses to talk about it. Uh, it's just I, trying to build the mystery. I think... I, no, I tend to agree. I, did, I forgot about the two episodes previously he's, he talked about it. Yeah. When they're fishing. He's fishing on a boat with... Paulie with or the, Sil? Or? Fishing on a boat. It wasn't with Bobby Buckler, was it? Maybe. Fishing on a boat. Jeez, in that world, that's a dangerous thing to do. Well, that's... <laughs> it's true. We all remember Fredo from Godfather Part 2. I watched The Godfather briefly. I didn't... Briefly? Yeah. You know, what, we, like 10 minutes of it? Yeah, we sort of watched it, but I wasn't engrossed, you know? All right. Anywho, we digress. We digress. Um, I, I'm happy, actually, I'm, ha I'm happy to go with that theory. If you, you know, if you, if you think that... Well, I, don't people, I don't want to put words in your mouth, Sam, if you, you know... Someone has to. Someone <laughs> has to. I'm fine, yeah. In terms of mottos, I grew up with, you know, the wrestling Jesse the Body Ventura. Yes. Who he had two that I quite enjoyed. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was his motto, that was, wasn't it? That was Ric Flair. Uh, we, we no, that was, was a high-pitched squeal. That was Randy Macho Man Savage. 
Yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah. That's, that was, that's... I did like Randy. Yeah, Randy was about died, by the way. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. What about the Ultimate Warrior? Is he still alive? I think uh, I think we recently lost him. But there was seven Ultimate Warriors, wasn't there? <laughs> there was multiple Warriors. They are definitely rotating his role. I, I, yeah, we, we, we lost a couple. We've still got four or five. Oh, well, that's... That's refreshing. That's encouraging. Yeah, I, I like the idea that we should we could play the old wrestlers from the eighties, dead or alive. Do you think maybe that's what I should cultivate in the last stages of my career? What? Just, just get a couple of other balding, a couple of other balding white men to just sort of rotate the the strains of AFL Mate, life. It's, you're onto something. Yeah. Jesse the Body Ventura famously said two things that I remember. It doesn't matter how you play the game; it's whether you win or lose. <laughs> And he also said it's not cheating unless you get caught. <laughs> I'm thinking, as an 11 year old listening to this, I'm going, yeah. wow, it's refreshing. Yep. He was onto something, Jesse. Any other player that you wish you'd played with? Dominator would have been good. How would me and the Dominator have gotten along, do you think? You in the centre square probably would have been alright. Uh, did you just. Cohebas like, post game, you think? What's that? Cohebas post game. What's Cohebas? <laughs> it's Cuban cigars. I didn't know. The that. Dominator would have loved a Coheba. Well, he had plenty of opportunities to smoke them, considering the success. That they <laughs> it's had. true. You, I, I remember the famous move of when Carlton's in trouble at halftime. Jono into the centre. Yeah. It solved so, everything. It did solve everything. I've met the Dominator a few times. He's a good fella. What a player. What a player. You were, yeah. Did you grow? Did you nah, grow, he's no. before my time, but I've seen I've seen a fair bit of footage of him from um, from those days. He was a pretty serious finals campaigner. Yeah, once again, a big game player. Yeah, not a small game. No, no. Carl met a lot of big. That was his Achilles players. heel, wasn't it? <laughs> John John's weakness was he was just not a small game player. Yeah. Favorite drink. Favorite drink. <laughs> Is this building towards some sort of big? Oh, yeah, it's building towards <laughs> yeah, a big. Okay. Don't worry, it's building. Okay. Uh, Favorite drink, let's say, scotch. Really? You yeah, like scotch? Oh, on ice or no? Oh, neat. Oh, okay. with, with ice at the very least. Usually with a little bit of soda water. I cannot believe that. That's probably that's the biggest bombshell that a current day player has admitted that they drink alcohol. <laughs> that's, oh, that's. I just got to thug it up a bit, you know. Things that. <laughs> if I do, oh yes, yes. Most of the way through this interview, I'm, I'm coming across like a wrestling watching Nuffy. That's you, know? you thugging it you up. You set me it? up. I you, you set me up, Pang, and I'm sick of it. <laughs> you put me in my place. Yeah. You've gone to thug it up because you're a bit concerned about the image you're portraying. That's right. And you've gone with favourite drink to be really tough. Yes, I often sit there with a tumbler of ice yeah. with a scotch in it, doing yeah. that. Yeah. Smoking jacket. Yep. Oh, yeah. A couple of cohevers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, hard. Yeah, no, it's completely changed. Yeah. Oh. Um, all right. I feel... How do you think... Have you feel, you feel comfortable? Sure. Very comfortable. This could... This could... It could all turn south here. Yeah. I say this with respect. As a man who's seen you from the start to yes. now. It's coming from a place of love. I can tell it that is. this question. It is. Yes. It is. Do you miss your hair? <laughs> yes. You do? Yes. I think I went too early with the hair. I don't know the hair. It didn't... I uh, could have really got it to that real wispy sort of phase before I let go. Hey, another year or two. Let's yeah. hope when it comes time to finish that you don't... That your career, playing career, you don't decide to finish that too early. Much like the decision you made with your hair. That's all I say as, a, as Carlton. On behalf yeah. of everyone playing who supports Carlton. The other thing is, did was it a clean... Does it a big, big decision? Was it just, I'm going to shave it? Uh, it wasn't a huge decision, no. I mean, I sort of knew it was coming. I never realised I was going bald until I had a teammate back in West Coast oh, yeah. sort of confront sort of. me on it. And I was like, what are you talking about? It sort of illustrated where I was starting to get a bit challenged. Um, like an intervention. It's a bit like that. Wow. <laughs> it's a bit like that. That's why I can relate to Montesanti, you know? Yeah. I, I, I know what he went through. I get that. What about, did you ever consider... Just growing it long on the sides and the back like Bruce Tool. Yeah. Imagine that. <laughs> yeah. That would have worked, wouldn't it? Have? Well, it's not. Don't, don't just rule it out. Yeah. The there's still time. There is. There is the comeback. 